welcome to Drive Spark. I'm Stephen Neal, and you join us once again at NMW Racing, where we are building our project HT500. What's going into this build? To know that, you will have to check out episode one and two. It's already out. We have displayed the performance parts that we'll be using in this build, and in episode two, we put together the bottom half of the engine. And now, in episode three, you will witness the rest of the engine coming together. Well, we'll be putting the rest of the parts, the clutch, the board, the head, etc., etc. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get assembling. So we've got the parts for the assembly right here. And before we get assembling the clutch, let me show you some internal components of the engine. So come here, come here quick. Let me just show you. So these are the components of the engine. This is the component. This is the gearbox that we inserted the last time in the last episode. This is the gearbox. So the other end of it and here, we can take a look this is the oil pump the oil pump gear and this is the gear that drives the oil pump that pumps the oil around the engine this is the primary gear that drives the gearbox now what we are going to be doing is we are going to be assembling the clutch and connecting the primary gear to the clutch so let's start assembling so this is the base where you assemble the clutch and let's put in the first steel plate so here goes and so that plate is in now let's get started with the fiber plates but before that let me just point the fiber plates out to you if you'll take a closer look these are nmw racing's fiber plates you have it for the royal infield himalayan these are better than the stock plates let me just show you the stock plates here so these are the clutch plates that came with the bike the fiber plates so you can see there is quite a difference in the edges even in the size of the plate so this is supposed to be more responsive and we can't wait to ride the motorcycle with these plates on so let's get assembling now that we've inserted our first steel plate and we've already matched it so let's start assembling so we're putting the first fiber plate in now the himalayan's clutch comes with six fiber plates and five of these black steel plates now when you're putting this black steel plate in you always have to match the groove on the plate as well as on the clutch hub so here we have it and once we match it, it goes, it slides right in. So it has to be the right angle. And once it's matched, it slides right in. Whereas the fiber plate does not have those grooves, so you can just place it over it. And that's exactly how you do it. One steel plate, one fiber plate, that's how you assemble it. So let's do a quick assembly of this. So now that this is assembled, let's put it back together. This is done. Now let's keep this aside. So this here is a clutch bell. And this is what connects the crankshaft through the primary gear to the gearbox. So let's get assembling this. So for this, you need this. You put this in place. And then you slide this onto that. To be very careful, very gentle. And also make sure that meshes up with the primary gear very well so this has to match now the crankshaft is driving the clutch bell then we we'll place on this washer and then in goes the clutch plates the whole assembly that we just put together make sure to line them up once again one last time because this has to fit right in line if it isn't give it a little turn now you see there are gears there are grooves right here there are teeth right here and there are teeth on the gearbox end as well so that has to sit There you have it. So this is the final assembled clutch. Now, of course, there's a lot that goes in. You have to put in the washer and then you have to put in the bolt, tighten it up. And there are a lot of parts that have to go in here. And then we close in this side of the engine case. And then finally, we get to this, which is the main part of the build, the main point of doing this build, the HT500, where we are turning this into a 500cc machine. So this is the big board and this is a big piston that we'll be using. Before that, let's assemble this and well, let's continue the assembly. Yeah. 
we're almost there you can see the bottom of the engine is already done and we've got the bore on it already you've got the cylinder this is what this build is about don't forget this is a 499cc bore that we're talking about now the piston is also in there it's a top dead center right now i'll tell you more about top dead center bottom dead center etc now let's get to the parts on the table let me show you each of these parts that are going in there before we put the engine together so this is a cam timing chain so what does that do i'll tell you that as well this is the head so it's already been ported so you've got the big valves in it the nmw racing valves and this is a head cover so it's got the rocker arms in there as well and you've got the gaskets here and these are the valves in question so this is the nmw racing performance valves so you've got the intake valve which is 39.5 mm and this is the exhaust valve which is 36.5 mm so they should make your engine breathe better now you've got the valve springs here and this is the camshaft in question the camshaft that is going into this engine in this build in episode one we had showed you different types of camshaft for the himalayan from nmw racing one with a decompressor one without and this is the one without the decompressor now if you'll check out these cam lobes if you'll see this has a higher duration not just lift so yes you already got the high lift but along with the lift the duration also is high which makes this engine suck in more air throw out more air as well so it should be quite interesting to see how it performs with this camshaft and then you've got the oil pressure sensor as well so we're going to be putting all of this together but before we start putting the engine together and finish the entire build i want to tell you something about how an engine works if you're not already aware so this if you'll see the engine the piston is at top dead center so this is where i'd like to begin explaining the four strokes of the four stroke engine so you've got the intake stroke where the piston goes from top dead center it goes all the way to bottom dead center and that is when the intake valve opens like this and when the intake valve is open like this then the air is sucked into the engine once the air is sucked into the engine it closes then the piston comes back up with both the valves closed and that is what you call the compression stroke which is the second stroke now that is where the spark plug ignites spark plug is here so the spark plug ignites the compressed air and fuel mixture the charge or so we call it and then finally the explosion happens and the piston goes back down to bottom dead center that is a power stroke that is where the power comes and then finally you've got the exhaust stroke where the exhaust valve opens and the piston comes back up and the exhaust is sent out of the engine via this port and out the exhaust pipe so those were the four strokes of the four stroke engine and that is how this engine works now it's time to put this engine together and finish the engine build stay tuned So there we have it, the 499cc Royal Enfield Himalayan is finally done, all assembled, ready to go into the frame. We have assembled the bottom half, the bore, the head, the timing has been set and it's all set to go into that frame. Now if you want to watch the marriage of the engine and the frame, well stay tuned for our next episode. We'll be putting this into the bike and we'll be starting the bike, we'll be cranking it and taking it for a trial. So this is exciting indeed. Now if you haven't watched our other episodes, do go and watch it. And also stay tuned to the next episode. This is Stephen Neal signing off for Drive Spark. Do like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any doubts about this build, do let us know in the comments below. We will make sure to answer every single comment. Thank you so much for watching.